नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कंप्यूटर एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट 2020 फिजिक्स सेक्शन दिस इज अवर थर्ड वीडियो इन द सीरीज वेयर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव इज गिवन बाय ई बार ऑफ एक्स कॉमा टी इज ई नॉट जेड कैप इन टू कॉस ऑफ ए एक्स प्लस पी टी इफ सी इज द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट then the value of b is and we have four options ac root 2 ac ac upon 2 pi and 2 pi ac okay <clears throat> so checking the dimensions of the of of the term in every option is not going to help because every term contains the product ac in the numerator so now how are we going to solve this problem let us first remind ourselves that electromagnetic wave is essentially a transverse wave correct and the uh, the argument of the trigonometric function here which is ax plus bt in this case okay ax plus bt in this case in usual notations a is called as the wave number which is given by 2 pi by lambda where lambda is the wavelength of light and b is the angular frequency correct a more conventional notation for b is omega which is 2 pi nu where nu is the frequency of oscillation of the field in hertz okay now they are saying if c is the speed of light okay so c is the speed of light so what is the standard formula c is equal to lambda into nu this is the standard formula which all of you might be knowing c is equal to lambda nu so let us now replace lambda by an expression involving a so how much will lambda be 2 pi by a 2 pi by a into now let us go to nu what is nu if omega is 2 pi nu then this nu must be omega upon 2 pi or b upon 2 pi b upon 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled c will be b upon a or b will be equal to a into c b will be equal to a into c correct option is a so see the question is very easy to solve there is no high level mathematics or any mathematics involved for that matter but you should know the fundamental equation or equations of electromagnetic wave there is one more equation here that is of magnetic field not mentioned here and you should also know what does the term containing both the spatial variable x and the temporal variable t what does that exactly denote what are the coefficients of x and t and the coefficient of x is well we generally use k for that just as we use omega for angular frequency this is wave number we call it k but here they have called it a which is 2 pi by lambda and uh, b is the angular frequency or omega so that is question number 3 